Introduction Would you like to have such hair growth on your face? Oh no, not at all. How does our body decide how much hair growth and other features should appear in our body? Genes decide the expression of characteristics in our body. Correct. However, only some genes are expressed and others are suppressed. Why? Some genes are suppressed to prevent the expression of abnormal features in our body, such as excessive facial hair growth. You are right. But who decides whether a particular gene is to be expressed or not? Okay. So let us discuss today how are the genes regulated in our body. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Understand gene regulation in eukaryotes and prokaryotes. Understand the functioning of lac operon. Identify the goals and features of human genome project. And understand the concept of DNA fingerprinting. Regulation of gene expression Gene expression is the process by which information from a gene is used in a synthesis of a functional gene product. In eukaryotes, gene expression can be regulated at multiple levels such as transcriptional level, formation of primary transcript, processing level, regulating of splicing, transport of mRNA from nucleus to the cytoplasm, Translational level. Positive and negative regulation. At transcription level, the activity of RNA polymerase at a given promoter is regulated by interaction with accessory proteins which affects its ability to recognize start sites. These regulatory proteins interact with sequences termed as operators adjacent to promoter. Such interaction can be both positive regulation, activators, negative regulation, repressors. LAC operon An operon is a group of genes that are transcribed at the same time usually controlling an important biochemical process. LAC operon Francois Jacob and Jake Menard were the first to elucidate LAC operon. It is the operon which controls lactose metabolism. It involves three genes involved in the processing of lactose. Z gene It codes for beta galactosidase that hydrolyzes lactose into glucose and galactose. Y gene It codes for permease that increases the permeability of cell for beta galactosidase. A gene It codes for transacetylase. It consists of one regulatory gene, I gene, that codes for the repressor of lac operon. Regulation of lac operon Lactose is the substrate for beta-galactosidase and it regulates switching on and off of the operon. When lactose is absent, the repressor protein is synthesized all the time from the I gene. In the absence of lactose, repressor protein binds to the operator region and prevents RNA polymerase from transcribing the operon. When lactose is present, lactose interacts with the repressor protein producing a conformational change in the protein, thus rendering it inactive. As a result, RNA polymerase gets access to the operator and begins transcription of the operon. Human Genome Project The Human Genome Project, HGP, is an international scientific research project 
with the primary goal of determining the sequence of chemical base pairs which make up DNA and of identifying and mapping the genes of the human genome from both a physical and functional standpoint. It was started in the year 1990 and completed in 2003. Methodology of Human Genome Project Human Genome Project was carried out by two approaches. By identifying all the genes that are expressed as RNA, expressed sequence tags, by sequencing the whole set of genome that contained all the coding and non-coding sequence and later assigning different regions in the sequence with functions, sequence annotation. For sequencing, the total DNA from a cell is isolated and converted into random fragments of relatively smaller sizes. Such sequences are then cloned in suitable hosts, bacteria or yeast, using specialized vectors called BAC, bacterial artificial chromosomes, and YAC, yeast artificial chromosomes. These sequences were then arranged based on overlapping fragments using computer-based programs. Salient Features of Human Genome Project Human genome contains 3,164.7 million nucleotide bases. Every gene consists of 3,000 bases. Largest known human gene is this Torfin with 2.4 million bases. Almost 99.9% .9 of the nucleotide bases are exactly the same in all people. The functions of about 50% of the genes are unknown with only less than 2% of genome coding for proteins. Chromosome 1 has most genes 2968 while chromosome Y has least 231. There are about 1.4 million locations where single nucleotide polymorphism occurs in humans. DNA polymorphism If an inheritable mutation is observed in a population at high frequency, it is referred to as DNA polymorphism. Such variations are observed mainly in non-coding DNA sequences because mutations in these sequences may not have any immediate effect, impact in an individual's reproductive ability. As a result, these mutations keep on accumulating generation after generation and form one of the bases of variability. DNA fingerprinting it is a technique used by scientists to distinguish between individuals of the same species using only samples of their DNA. DNA fingerprinting involves identifying differences in specific DNA regions called as repetitive DNA. These repetitive DNA are separated from bulk genomic DNA as different peaks during density gradient centrifugation. The bulk DNA forms a major peak and other small peaks are known as satellite DNA. Satellite DNA does not code for proteins, show high degree of polymorphism and forms the basis of DNA fingerprinting. DNA fingerprinting technique The technique of DNA fingerprinting was initially developed by Alec Jeffries. It uses variable number of tandem repeats VNTR as a probe. VNTR is a mini satellite DNA. It is a small DNA sequence arranged tandemly in many copy numbers that varies from chromosomes to chromosomes. The numbers of repeats show very high degree of polymorphism. As a result, the size of VNTR varies in size from 0.1 to 20 kb. After hybridization with VNTR probe, the autoradiogram gives many bands of differing sizes. These bands give a characteristic pattern for an individual DNA.
Steps Involved in DNA Fingerprinting Technique DNA fingerprinting technique uses Southern blot hybridization using radio-labeled VNTR as a probe. Its steps include A. Isolation of DNA B. Digestion of DNA by restriction endonucleases C. Separation of DNA fragments by electrophoresis D. Blotting of separated DNA fragments to synthetic membranes such as nitrocellulose or nylon E. Hybridization using labeled VNTR probe F. Detection of hybridized DNA fragments by autoradiography Did you know? A multiple gene regulation system is a system that allows the simultaneous and quantitative regulation of many different genes in the same cell, tissue or organism. Foreign genes in a cell can be regulated by the use of inducible promoters such as PR1A promoter. PR1A promoter extracted from tobacco is induced during the systematic acquired resistance response following pathogen attack. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Regulation of transcription is the primary step for regulation of gene expression. Lac operon is the operon in bacteria which codes for genes responsible for metabolism of lactose. Human Genome Project was a mega project that aimed to sequence every base in human genome. Fingerprinting is a technique to find out variations in individuals of a population at DNA level. It works on the principle of polymorphism in DNA sequences.